Today I got a really nice hack that you can use to actually manifest faster the dreams of your life. Because everything you want is here and now, and by resonance, what you resonate with will actually become materialized in your life and you will experience it. Then, the whole universe is one big symphony. And by studying people that you think are more compatible with your dreams, you are taking a shortcut. You are becoming in resonance with the people that already achieved what you want. Because believe me, anything that you want, anything that you will ever want, already been done before, already been here before. So all you gotta do is just tune in to the frequency of the reality that you want. All you gotta do is just become the man or the woman that you wanna be. And one of the ways that you can do that is to actually study these people. Some of the people actually love Napoleon, for example. And Napoleon Bonaparte, was actually one of the greatest leaders the history have ever seen. So you can actually right now study the autobiography or the biography of Napoleon and you will become in resonance with him. Steve Jobs, for example, you can study the autobiography or the biography of him and you will find yourself becoming in resonance with the aspect that you think is more compatible with you because this actually explains reincarnation because to the right brain mode, and this is a thing about the physics of quality, everything is in harmony. Even a sound and a color in quality, they are in resonance. For example, when you hit the Do on the musical scale, after seven notes, you will find another Do. The same quality, different sound. For example, you can just, if you are in a harmonics and whatnot, you can check the monochord by Pythagoras. And Pythagoras actually was one of those people that did hide a lot of things because many people were actually thinking in terms of quantity. So he did hide a lot of things about the quality of things. So right now, all I'm telling you is, by becoming in resonance with the reality that you want, by studying people that already did what you want to do, you are speeding up your manifestation you are making it visible to you because everything is here and now. So all you gotta do is know what you want and then study the people that already did it. Maybe you are so excited to know more about Jeff Bezos and how he actually became one of the wealthiest people alive. So you read about him and things that you are interested in will actually become in resonance with the things that you are reading about. You are interested in money and you are reading the autobiography of any billionaire out there. All of a sudden, you will have an informational exchange because resonance is an informational exchange. And you will start to get ideas once you immerse yourself in studying these things. And this is the thing about resonance. Resonance is multidimensional. So sometimes you will wake up and the right idea at the right time will be in front of you and you will be like, wow how is this happening and you will be just in awe and i don't want you to be pessimistic all the time man i want you to just see those things and give it time i know i told you before time is not real everything is here and now but i'm telling you give your own brain time because your mind been programmed for years and years and years to a certain way of thinking and now you are reprogramming that mind by studying new people by studying the ideas that will take you to a whole new level. So don't rush the process, enjoy it. Because when you are in a rush, you, are, you have anxiety, for example. You are looking forward, you are not living in the present moment. As I told you before, I told you over and over, there is only the present moment that you should enjoy. And the present moment is affecting the so-called past and the future. And the sun is right in front of my own eyes, so I cannot even see what am I recording. So, excuse me if anything is loud and I'm so bright right now, because the sun is frying me right now. So, let's talk a little bit about how can you make this work much more faster and much more efficient. The very first thing I want you to do is to do what you love first. So, if you are an artist, for example, and you have a bit of a financial problem and you want to make money. You want money, nothing wrong with it. So what will you do? First thing first, 
Imagine yourself having already the money that you want. How would it feel? Embody that feeling. The next thing, read about people that are actually successful doing the things that they already love. Some people love making money. This is their passion. It's really true. Some people love making money. Not how they make it, but just making money. You can study those people. And as a byproduct, you will make money from the thing that you love to do. This is one of the keys. You are becoming in resonance with the part of their character that is related to the money aspect. One thing you can do is to actually start to say to yourself things that is more compatible with the reality that you want. For example, when you face something difficult or you face any circumstance that is not in alignment with what you want, the very first thing you need to do is to ask yourself, is there is something to be learned from this situation? If yes, try to get that lesson and take it in. Don't try to hide. Don't try to tell yourself that, hey, I should have done this. I should have done that. This is so wrong. No. You give it meaning. You give everything meaning. There is no meaning to anything. You are the one that is giving it meaning. So you have to know if there is a lesson to be learned from this. And believe me, if you don't find any, create one. How? How am I going to create one? It's very easy. At least now, you know what you want. By seeing what you don't want, you know now what you want. And this is the paradox, the power of the paradox. You now know that this thing right in front of your own eyes is not the thing that you want. So you now know as a byproduct, what is it that you want? What is it? And then, as I told you, like maybe three times now, study more people that are successful. You are becoming in resonance, not with the whole personality, no. You are becoming in resonance with the part that you are interested in. This is why when people tell me that, hey, um, the reincarnation of this or that, I did a regression, I did this, I did that. That's cool. That's the way of the mind to translate the cyclic time or the holistic right brain mode perspective to the linear time that we are living in. This is one of the ways that the mind should actually try to decipher the way the information comes from the right brain mode. So if you feel yourself like you are a reincarnation of someone from the past, you are becoming in resonance. So there is an informational exchange in a certain aspect. So maybe you are interested in arts and you became in resonance with Leonardo da Vinci. And now you think that you were Leonardo in a past life. In linear time and space, you can say that. But in the holistic time, the one is the all, the all are the one. So if we really think about it, it's just that you are becoming in more resonance with the people that you are interested in. You are becoming in resonance with that aspect of Leonardo. You are not becoming Leonardo himself. Leonardo himself is a different character and you are becoming in resonance with that character. This is why we can say that the one is the all, the all are the one. So this is a bit of a manifestation rant or, you know, some random advice that I found to be helpful to you guys. If you want to know more about how to reprogram your subconscious mind, I actually spent a lot of time gathering this info to myself. And then a lot of you guys have been asking about, I want this technique, that technique. What about reincarnation? What about this? What about a past life? What about that? So I gathered all the info in a 26 page ebook that you can check in the link in the description box. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one for some reason, because I don't know why would you, but if there is something urgent and you want a one-on-one -on -one call, then all the info is in the description box. And until next video, I will see you soon. And I got to get out of here because the sun is frying me up. See you soon, guys.